Hello and welcome to section 3 of Playing with the User Interface. In the previous section, we explored Xcode, the IDE, and started to get an understanding of how we're going to be working within it. In this section, we're going to create the user interface in Storyboards. Next, we're going to have a look at auto layout constraints and how these work. Then, we're going to have a look at how we design for different sizes using Storyboards. And finally, we're going to have a look at images and assets and how we apply these within Storyboards. So let's begin by creating the user interface that we're going to use throughout this application. In this video, we're going to look at how we can create user interfaces. Next, we're going to add the UI elements to the view that we're going to use throughout this application. And finally, we're going to see how we can change different attributes associated with different elements. Here I have a wireframe showing exactly what it is that I want to create and the UI elements that I'm going to be placing on my view. As you can see, I have a text label, a text field. I have two buttons, and I have this image view. Each of these items here show me the attributes that I want to apply to each of my views. This wireframe and documentation will allow me to put a more visual interface together. There are three main ways of creating your user interface. Creation using pure Swift in code. Creation using nib files, spelled XIB or creating through storyboards. Each of these has its pros and cons for development and can be used together harmoniously. When you first start out, the best approach is to build your user interface using storyboards. So let's check this out. As you can see here, I have a square on the screen. This represents my view controller. It's the view controller that we will be working on and it's the first view controller that we see when we load the application. So I'm going to open my utility panels on the right, and then I'm going to select my view controller. When I do this, I can see there are lots of different tabs at the top, as well as these four tabs at the bottom. The top tabs are used for controlling the data that you want to supply about the object that you're currently working on, such as the views, view controllers, or controls. The bottom tabs are used to help you store from and add objects into the file you are currently working on. So, what I want to do here is to add some elements into my view controller. Specifically, according to the wireframe, I want to add five elements, a label, text field, two buttons, and an image view. I can achieve this by clicking on one of the bottom tabs called the object library. Then I can either scroll through these or use the dynamic filter to help me find what it is that I want to add. I want to add a label here. So here I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it underneath the view within my view controller. I'm going to do this for each of the other elements that I want to add. So here I want to add a text field. I'm going to drag that over. I then want to add in two buttons. So adding these in each here. And then I want to add in my image view. I'm going to take a first pass at laying these out according to the wireframe and design parameters. I'm going to move this button down to the bottom, drag it all the way across. I'll take my image view and I'm just going to move that just above the button for the moment and again move this across. I'll then take my button, move this to the side for the moment and I'm going to take my label. I'm going to put my label up at the top and then I'm going to put my text field next to the label and drag this all the way across to the side. And I'll put my second button underneath this. And then I'm going to drag the image view all the way up to the top. Now currently each of these is just white, which is very difficult to visualize. Luckily, however, the design specifications did provide me with some colors for me to use. The way we change a particular object is to select it by either selecting it within the view or within this panel over here. Once I've done this, I can see that my top tabs in the utilities panel change to show different inspectors. I will go to this and I will go to the Attributes Inspector and then look at what I can change. There are a few things that I want to change here. Specifically, I want to change the background colors and the text colors and the text. Let's do this for this button. So I want to change the text color within it to be white. Then I want to change my background color, which I find down at the bottom here, to this lighter color here. Next, I want to change the text. I want to change the text within this 
to add image. Next, I'm going to do the same for my button at the bottom. I'm going to select it. I'm going to change the text here to save. I'm going to change the text color to white. And I'm going to change the background color to this color here. If I want to change the text in the label, I simply select it and then go to the label in the attributes inspector and change the text within here. Do name the dream and press enter. And I'm just going to quickly resize this so I can get all of the text within it. And then I'm going to run this within the simulator. Great, so now we have a more visual working prototype on our very first screen.